early on, gravity drew stars together into clusters, and galaxies began to take shape. Out in the darkness of space, these clusters pulled together, swirling around each other. They collided, merged, and gradually formed a single large galaxy. Our galaxy is actually made up of many, many sub-galaxies that have collided over, the, over time. Structure continued to evolve on, on, on larger and larger scales, so that the way we now understand the evolution of our galaxy is that small sub-clumps collapsed first, and many different ones did, and interacted, orbited each other, collided, merged, and eventually formed what we see today. And in fact, that process is continuing. The galaxies are a zoo. They're big ones, fat ones, small ones, skinny ones, distorted ones, ones that look like train wrecks. The Milky Way galaxy itself is extremely flat. Not unusual in its flatness, but it's extremely flat. It's got a sort of bulgy shape in the middle. We call it the bulge. And uh, it looks kind of like a fried egg, except it's thinner than a fried egg. And w what I'm referring to the thickness is the distribution of stars within it. It's like a platter, and it rotates, it has spiral structure. If you could see the Milky Way from afar, it would look like this. A vast assembly of suns swirling around the center. So immense, it takes a beam of light 100,000 years to cross it. Still, it reminds astronomers of something closer to home. A city with its neighborhoods and its bustling center. Our tiny solar system can be found on the outskirts. We live in the suburbs of the galaxy, uh, not in the center where the population density is very high. We live about two-thirds of the way out in the disk. There are other regions where stars are being born, stars are dying. It's quite a rich assortment of neighborhoods. Out where we are, it takes a star 300 million years to orbit the Milky Way. But as you move toward the center, the pace quickens. As you go towards the center of our galaxy, the stars become closer together. The buildings get closer and closer together. If you were to think about a city, the downtown of a city compared to the suburbs, the strength of the magnetic fields go up. The winds that um, stars give off get, get more extreme. Everything just becomes more fast-paced. Entering the great central bulge, the galaxy gets more chaotic. Stars orbit erratically, living and dying at a furious pace. Here, amid clouds of gas and radiation, surely there is no light. The explosions that go on, the, the colliding systems that take place, the, the fact that you have gravity, the tidal forces of gravity that rip apart star clusters. I try to imagine what it would look like. It would be a blaze with light. There is much more in the galactic center than busy intersections. Deep within, hidden by a shroud of dust and blinding light, looms a titanic object. Not a star, but a true cosmic monster. No one knows exactly how it got here, or the full dimensions of its gravitational power. But this much is sure. In time, it will determine the fate of the galaxy.